Divya Shakti to the mock interview. Thank you, sir. A very good evening to you, sir. Good evening. Divya, tell us uh, about yourself briefly. Uh, sir, my name is Divya Shakti and uh, I am from Bihar. Uh, basically, I am from Chapra in Bihar, but I have been born and brought up in Muzaffarpur district of Bihar. Sir, uh, thereafter, I did my engineering, bachelor's in engineering degree from Bits Pilani. And uh, I was working as an application developer in JP Morgan and Chase, that is an American investment bank, for around two years. So then I quit my job and currently, and I prepared for UPSC. So currently, I am undergoing training as an IPS officer training in National Police Academy, Hyderabad, sir. Probably this IPS uh, uh, training thing is not mentioned in your diary. So good. Uh, it's not yes, mentioned, sir. no? Yes, sir. So Divya, tell me, uh, you're from Bihar. Uh, I'm told that, uh, you know, the prohibition, decision of prohibition in Bihar has really helped women of Bihar. The crime rate has also come down. So what do you have to say about it? What is your feedback? Uh, sir, uh, prohibition was implemented in 2016, since 2016 in Bihar. And sir, there have been various studies as well to that uh, that were uh, performed to assess the outcome on uh, of prohibition on the women of Bihar. Sir, as far as my understanding is concerned, with my limited interaction with people from villages, uh, sir, I have seen that the rate of domestic violence or the violence that was performed in the houses due to drunk, drunk, drinking and beating the uh, female members or the children in the homes has come down because of sir, the because sir, the availability of alcohol to an extent has been limited but sir despite this there has been there have been certain problems that have come up for example sir uh, the consumption of spurious alcohol that is also causing death of people in bihar and also, sir, the black market that has come up because of uh, because of prohibition, and that has, to a certain extent, also led to uh, over expenditure. So another goal, sir, that was there for uh, prohibition in Bihar was uh, diverting the useful income of the households towards uh, other usages like for food, for education for healthcare etc so sir in this regard i think it has been slightly uh, not successful so so this is my observation okay thank you so you have worked with jp morgan yes sir so tell me these reports of investment bankers you know they affect the, the stock market the sensex and nifty to a large extent yes sir now how, how reliable, uh, you know, uh, one should consider them uh, to, to put stakes uh, in the stock market? Uh, can you share now that you are no longer working with JP Morgan? You can always share. Yes, sir. sir uh, so these reports are prepared on the basis of the analysis by the investment bankers there. But, sir, uh, I would like to say that there have been disagreements with the reports that these investment banks come up with. Uh, there have been allegations that the certain countries are not favorably uh, put in these reports. So since I was not directly dealing with the financial segment and my role was uh, limited as an application developer, I do not have anything to add from the insider's point of view, sir. So my knowledge is as good as anyone else's, yes, sir. Divya, my last question in the first round is, yes, sir. Uh, you have heard about sedition law. Now, we generally talk about judicial overreach in many matters. You think that uh, the, the extent to which we have reached, that the Supreme Court has to consider to repeal sedition law is a case of overreach by police? Uh, sir, I would like to take a moment to think about this. Have you understood the question? Uh, sir, if I may repeat your question. Your question is that uh, the judicial overreach, you mentioned judicial overreach, but your question is, is this a result of the overreach of the police forces? Yes, that, that we have come to a, 
to a situation that sedition law is being considered, which was there for more than a century. Now it has come to a place, situation that we are thinking of scrapping it. Is it because the police has overreacted and overacted on sedition law? Uh, sir, in my humble opinion, it is a result of a mix of factors, sir. So while uh, the police is in charge of uh, uh, implementing the Section 124A, which is which deals with sedition law, sir, I think there has been multiple. There have been multiple factors. For example, sir, there have there have been cases, instances of political interference. Also, sir, uh, the general uh, consciousness of the public towards their rights is increasing. And, uh, sir, uh, of course, overreach by police is definitely a factor that has contributed to it, sir. Okay. Something about economy, uh, Divya. Uh, presently, inflation seems to be the biggest, uh, you know, I would say, villain of the economy. Yes, sir. But, but there are some good aspects of having inflation for some time. Can you, can you uh, recount some of them? Uh, yes, sir. Sir, inflation is generally a certain degree of or a certain rate of inflation is considered good for the uh, growth of the economy, sir. It is considered as an incentive for the manufacturers to produce more. And it also uh, gives money into the hands of the people to spend more. And it in turn drives the virtuous cycle of economy. So this is one of the views, one of the good aspects of inflation that is concerned. Uh, and sir, I think apart from this, but if inflation reaches above a certain level, it uh, reduces the real value of the money that people hold, and then it becomes problematic, sir. Thank you, Devya. I pass on to Mr. Khanna. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Good evening, Devya. Good evening, sir. So, Devya, this, this will be your first interview at UPSC? Uh, sir, actually, oh, this is yes, my second... Sure. You, yes, you are sir. already in IPS, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, all right. So, Divya, since uh, you, you are from Bihar, yes, sir. so I want to know what government of Bihar is doing for underprivileged section. And yes, are sir. the benefits reaching the right people? Uh, sir, government of Bihar, under the uh, leadership of Honorable uh, Chief Minister Nitish Kumar, has taken a lot of steps to uh, help the underprivileged sections. There have been numerous schemes uh, focused on the, especially, sir, I can say from the point of view of education and health to help the people. Apart from this, sir, uh, like for example, sir, uh, the women, uh, the uh, girl students have are provided a large number of benefits, sir, including cycles, uh, uniforms for the school, etc., which has definitely increased the participation of women in uh, secondary education, sir. So earlier it was limited to primary education, so that is there. Apart from this, sir, in health also, the uh, the underprivileged sections are provided benefits when they reach to the PHCs, etc. Sir, food greens and other supplies are also provided to the underprivileged sectors. So this has in totality definitely increased the well-being of the underprivileged sections. But sir, as any, as far as, just as any other scheme is considered, of course there's, there are hiccups to the implementation. Sometimes the benefits are, so there are inclusion and exclusion errors sir, that come up. And uh, there are certain hiccups uh, like this that are coming to my mind right now. No problem, no problem. And what about jobs? Uh, sir, in my uh, humble opinion, sir, the impact on creation of jobs in Bihar has been limited. Although there have been many recent steps, especially, sir, after COVID-19 uh, reverse migration that took place, there were steps that were taken to uh, bring out MSME clusters to uh, create a mapping of the uh, people who came back and then set up MSME clusters for them to channelize this skill. But uh, sir, considering the huge population and the limited resources that Bihar has, uh, it, it, it's still a long journey ahead, sir. Okay, okay. Being a technical man, I want to ask you uh, this question. You are a technical yes, person. 
so we hear a lot of uh, fake news lot of lies through social media what can uh, be done to check this fake news and lies coming out in the social media sir uh, fake news and lies spreading through the social media have become a very a big menace these days in my opinion sir uh, there are two aspects to it one is channelizing technology to filter out the fake news the second part is uh, the second part deals with awareness among the citizens uh, about the authenticity of the messages or the posts that they see on social media sir coming to the first part i think use of technology for example uh, recognizing the deep fake videos that are spread uh, the time stamp the time stamp analysis of the photos that are circulated sometimes sir past photos are circulated for present news that creates a stir in the society these are the techniques that can be used uh, the cyber cell of the local police can be trained to gather intelligence and to be able to match the photos to send it to the higher levels and get the time stamp etc of the photos to create awareness so come then to the second part that deals with the creating awareness among the people i think sir uh, generally the general thing is that people are not that cyber literate so they do not know that anything and any everything that is shown on the social media need not be true so i think this awareness can be created as far as police is concerned sir it can be through community policing uh it can be through social media posts by the police it can be through uh um, it can be through general informative videos shared by the government or the uh, ministry of information technology that increases awareness sir okay <clears throat> why there is no apple in india what are we uh, going to do uh sir uh, uh can i please ask you to reframe your question sir or in case uh, I, i haven't understood i correctly. thought from a technical person apple stands for uh, the the apple yes sir yes sir so uh, sir in my opinion uh, one of the major reasons for it is that uh, we have been we have adopted technology in the later stages sir and our technological adoption has been greatly job uh, job oriented till recent times sir so the technological adoption was based on the job uh, on the employability of the technology while this perspective is changing in the recent times with lot of youngsters coming up with innovative innovative ideas and adopting innovative technologies and innovations in technology to come out with disruptive products sir so i think this is why we are a little late but i'm sure if uh, the creativity is nurtured we can definitely have an apple in india also sir okay last question what is linkage between quantum computing and artificial intelligence uh sir quantum computing is a computing technique that uses the principles of quantum physics like entanglement etc while artificial intelligence is the use of technology to make machines think like humans so this is the basic difference and sir i think quantum computing can aid towards our artificial intelligence drive in the longer run so it can be a support to the artificial intelligence sir thank you thank you sir thank you over to you yes, sir thank you sir uh, divya you are from muzaffarpur yes sir so uh, muzaffarpur is one of the smart cities yes sir yeah. so what yes, changes uh, have you noticed in the civic communities in the governance structure of the city sir one of the starkest uh, differences that i have observed in terms of uh, smart city implementation in muzaffarpur is sir uh, waste solid waste management Yeah, okay. So solid waste management, Muzaffar, for being a very small city, despite being a very small city, the wastes are properly segregated at the household level, collected daily by the municipal corporation, uh, and they are also uh, sent to solid waste management plants. Sir. So this is one of the starkest differences that I've observed. Uh, one or two more. Uh, so the other is, uh, in my opinion, sir. Uh, 
so this is the only one that's coming to my oh, mind right no, no problem yes so what is the percentage of women uh, reservation in uh, bihar in prs and chatra so it is said uh, as far as my knowledge is concerned it's 50% 50 sir. very good yes now you see various studies have revealed that uh, this reservation of women in panchayat raj institutions have really really helped in women empowerment at the grassroots level yes and also presence of women in panchayat raj institution has made our pris very robust and very vibrant with regard to achievement of very sdgs and uh, other developmental initiatives yes sir so going by this logic uh, of reservation for women and uh, in panchayat raj institution which is again a, a very important tier of our government do you think that we should also have reservation for women in sir higher services including civil services sir uh, the reservation in panchayati raj institutions has definitely helped the women come uh, to the forefront of the society and participate in the policy making sir sir i think uh, reservation in the ser civil services has to be a well thought out uh, process sir i think while we might provide reservation there could be other factors that could you know that could actually restrict the uh, participation of women from all the strata of the society into the civil services it can definitely help in bringing parity equality making the civil services representative sensitive empathetic and uh, of course gender uh, uh, gender equal in gender parameters sir but i think uh, coming to the reservation sir i think there has to be a well thought out study to analyze what are the segments from which women are coming uh, what are the segments from which we need we need to encourage women sir i think a first step could be to begin with the uh, awareness training and providing women the facility and uh, uh, coaching and guidance to participate in civil services sir now tell me uh, uh... india has targeted uh, uh, 5 trillion economy us dollar yes, economy yes, it was originally targeted for 24 25 but now i think it may be extended by couple of years because of yes sir yes sir which are you can war so yes, where, where where do you see the role of women in this sir i think the role of women is uh, very important in creating an economy that is robust because said the the vehicle or the car or the future of economy has to be equally balanced on both the wheels of the society male and female segments said in fact there have been various studies i am sorry i am not able to recall the exact data but there have been various studies by the international monetary fund and world bank that have highlighted the annual gdp loss that india faces only because of the non participation of women said if women come to the forefronts it will definitely increase the per whole uh, uh, income per household income of the society it will un it will fuel the consumption patterns and drive the virtuous cycle of economy sir so so i think there is a huge role for uh, which women can play in achieving 5 trillion economy sir my last question uh, divya uh, yes sir you know ngos are a very i think important component very important partner in governance and in our developmental journey so yes. where do you see the role of ngos in policing suppose you are district superintendent of police in one of the districts in bihar so yes, where sir. would you use the uh, uh, presence of ngos in policing sir? particularly which, which sectors of policing you would use sir i think ngos can play a very important role uh, in many segments of policing sir some of the segments that come to my mind and that i have and these are based on my experiences in bihar sir are number one creating awareness about the various laws that exist the provisions that exist in our law so this is the general ex, uh, aspect sir creating awareness about the laws for example about dowry death about the illegality of dowry receiving and giving of uh, dowry about child marriage about domestic violence etc sir apart from this sir i think it can be used to uh, to actually make people come forward and report these laws for example sir in bihar 
uh, there have been many NGOs that have worked in convergence with, with the police, local police, to report child marriages. Apart from this, a uh, community police policing for uh, increasing awareness about new segments of crime like cyber crime, okay, etc., which are becoming very prominent, sir. Very good. Thank you, yes. Divya. Over to Chairman, sir. Thank you, sir. Mr. Subesh. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Good evening, Divya. Good evening, sir. So, uh, what was your optional subject in civil services? Uh, sir, my optional subject was geography, sir. Geography, okay. So, uh, which uh, socio-economic problems uh, can be solved with the help of knowledge of geography? Uh, sir, there are many socio-economic problems that emerge due to geographical issues. For example, sir, if I might take the liberty of giving example of Bihar, sir, the flood issues that are directly a result of geography of the eastern, especially the eastern part of Bihar that is affected by Kosi floods, that can be used to analyze the pattern of floods, to use the structures that can be used to control flood, and hence solve the socioeconomic problems like poverty, hunger, etc. that emanate in the, those regions because of floods, sir. So this is one of the examples that currently comes to my mind. Apart from this, sir, in terms of human geography, the ethnicity, the uh, socio-cultural composition dynamics, etc. can also be used to analyze the growth patterns, the disadvantages faced by certain segments by understanding the human geography of the area better, sir. Uh, we have seen increase in number of fire incidents recently, especially in dump sites or landfills. So yes, I would like to know your view on landfill management in India. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, as far as my understanding is concerned, sir, I'm sorry, I cannot recall the exact law which uh, governs this. But I think, sir, there are certain issues is... Uh, unscientific dumping of wastes in these areas, which leads to uh, accumulation of volatile gases, and that leads to frequent fires at these places, sir. Sir, I think a better management by the municipal corporation in terms of management of the landfill areas can be a first step towards solving this problem at the local level, sir. Okay. Uh, talking about international affairs, uh, can yes, you give an overview on Afghanistan situation and its impact on India? Uh, yes, sir. Sir, as far as my understanding of the current Afghanistan situation is concerned, there has been an overtake of the Afghanistan government by the Taliban. So there is uh, the government of regime of Taliban there, which is acting as the government. Sir, in this concern, the, the issues that can be faced by India are number one, use of Tal use of Afghanistan as a ground breeding ground for uh, internal security issues in India, attacks by terrorists, etc. This is one of the issues. Second issue is sir, our economic interest in the region. So we have already invested in the Chabahar port, and we are planning. We are a part of. Uh, no, international, uh, international North South Transport Corridor, TAPI Pipeline, etc., for which Afghanistan region plays a, the stability, political stability in the Afghanistan region is very, very important. Uh, sir, these are the two things that are coming to my mind right now. Okay. I pass on to Chairman. Thank you, sir. So, the way we have covered a lot of ground. So, any yes, subject sir. or topic which you think has been left out and we have not covered it? So let us ask uh, a question from that area, if you can name that subject. Sir, I think uh, everything from my DAF has been well covered, except for the hobbies section, sir. Okay, so tell me which hobby you would like me to ask a question from. Uh, sir, uh, I think uh, cooking or uh, Madhubani painting or long distance running, any of the three, sir, whatever. Uh, so cooking, cooking would be interesting. Yes, now, sir. Now tell me, uh, you are an IPS officer. Yes, sir. Now, on the on the borders, suppose you are posted on the border uh, yes, with the BSF or maybe you are on deputation. Now, yes, 
supplying of commodities and including including the food products and food as such is a big task right yes sir both for army and for armed forces yes so sir tell me uh, how how this can be rationalized in the in the era of new technology and new world that the old system of making the food you know whichever way at the borders can be improved i mean uh, you you may have sort of uh, you know got some some idea a bit cooking of something which everyone knows but in terms of supply of food especially at the border areas it must be a big challenge so how do you think you will manage if you were to uh, you know lead a battalion somewhere in the borders sir definitely uh, this is a major uh, challenge maintaining or feeding your workforce feeding your force and keeping them healthy and fit for any future contingency that might arise sir of course i have limited experience so my answer could be incorrect but one of the things that comes to my mind is sir traditionally we have focused a lot on availability of rice wheat etc uh, to these areas and these are we are highly dependent on certain belts for the supply of these sir i think utilizing the local economy local products local uh, greens vegetables that are grown in the local region could have double folded effect number 1 it would boost the local economy it would make the supplies easier and more sustainable and reliable even in the times when our uh, long distance contacts or communication could be cut off and number 3 sir it could also help in uh, building a good rapport of the forces in the region with the local people sir in the olden times they were uh, especially in wars in rajasthan state yes sir they used to make special foods which could last for a very long time yes sir you must have heard of dal bati you know it is not a yes. fancy uh, yes sir because people uh, you know like it it is it was more of a necessity yes sir so could you think of any such food in the present times uh sir definitely but i think the food would largely depend on the area in which the force is posted for example sir giving the example of bihar in bihar sir sattu has been considered the staple food people the local people the local laborers they used to carry sattu in their uh, gamcha we call it sir in their toils and they used to sit at any place they used to put water add some uh, uh, chilies and onion and they used to eat it it's a very healthy very nutritious food so sir i i'm sure for each region in india considering the diversity in our food there would be certain local uh, food cuisine that can be used in the similar purpose sir good so divya uh, how you think you you have fared uh, sir i think i definitely need to add more content uh, in my answers like i need to be well versed with the laws and certain uh, very specific points for the answers i think this is one segment where i can definitely see so uh, first thing first you have very good personality confident you, smiling uh, your conversation is very good only two two points i would like to suggest to you because nothing much that i can uh, tell on your replies except Uh, number one, length of reply, okay, most long. So you have to check on your timing. Don't don't ever exceed uh, uh, threshold of two minutes. Okay, sir. that two is outer limit. But then try and uh, frame your reply and uh, bring out systematically, chronologically all the points. that is number 1 and i think you uh, you keep on rep uh, repeating something like uh, as per my limited knowledge hmm uh, according to no, me no no it was for my humble it <laughs> is my, my humble opinion uh, something there are uh, why if you think that you keep on repeat, uh, repeating so if you can avoid that. okay sir noted sir and uh, i liked your reply on almost all all the issues that i asked you quantum to fake news to uh, 
underprivileged uh, sections well done that nothing nothing that i can tell you on the content of your uh, replies thank you so much sir thank you over to you anil thank you sir well divya i agree with the assessment of our honorable member about your interview performance uh, you are a very good candidate very relaxed looking confident smiling face and you you have good command over language only again i would uh, say the same thing which honorable member said that you have used this in my humble opinion so in my opinion is okay but avoid the word humble okay you have used yes, three four times just you seen yes, the sir. video if you get it yes, that sir. you can avoid and uh, also your answers were little little longish at times that you can avoid okay, but otherwise you are uh, mm, but you have to brush up your current affairs because in some of the questions you you stopped after one or two points you were not having but anyway it, it, it was okay and uh, i think overall you are an excellent candidate and you will do very well uh, i think thank you so much sir all, all the best thank you sir so divya i would like to know how much you scored in the actual csc interview or interviews previously Sir, my score was not that well. I could only manage to score one sixty-five in my previous attempts. Okay, you took only one interview. Yes, sir. I have uh, attempted only one interview. That was the previous one, twenty nineteen attempts. Okay, so how was your performance of the actual interview vis-a-vis today? Sir, uh, I think uh, it was better than the previous interview. Although I think there are certain aspects like brushing up my current affairs and. Uh, being more specific while i speak i tend to repeat a lot and hence make my answers longer sir so you analyze yourself very well so overall personality is very good and i share the same opinion which is already been told to you if you will watch your video probably tomorrow you will understand why we are saying to avoid certain terms in all my yes. answers you are told as far as my understanding is concerned in all my answers and uh, you are using the term definitely too much okay. so you can avoid this uh, apart from this if you were overall you were good and i believe uh, you can definitely score up to 70% in the actual interview so i wish you all the best and i pass on to chairman sir thank you sir so divya you are a very bright candidate very pleasing personality and uh, the only thing that will improve your performance further we have rated you around 66% today okay sir which is higher than what you got last time so yes, that sir. explains your point that you have you think that you have done a shade better so uh, that is one but uh, uh, the only thing that you need is something which you have already identify it like an intelligent person and you have to just take care of that now two three things which will improve your content and framing of answers uh firstly before you start speaking it is good that if somebody can start speaking or giving the answer immediately but more important is that the answer that you give should be qualitatively good so there is no harm in pausing for one or two three seconds and think and frame an answer in your mind and whatever extent you can go your mind will tell in those two to three seconds that all right divya i just know three points not more than that so stop there and don't mention the 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 sentence this is all that is coming to my mind this is another phrase that you have been consistently using please don't please don't do use that you know it's like you know your conscience is saying ki i am being very honest and i am showing my honesty to the panel ki sir i only this was... now there is no need to air your weaknesses okay sir you know, your you should give the impression to the panel that in your mind these are the only two important things 
and you are not forgetting every anything it's not that these are the only two things coming in my mind from my side these are the only two main points which i am telling you in brief are you seeing the difference yes sir you don't have to feel guilty you have to be assertive and make your point and stop there if the panel has wants to know the third point then you may regret is are that this is all i can think of don't as a rule don't mention this line otherwise you know the panel will feel that for every answer she has only limited knowledge which she is herself admitting in every answer ki itna hi mujhe yaad aa raha hai bas aur nahi yaad aa raha that means kuch hai jo nahi yaad aa raha so why give that impression are you seeing the point yes sir definitely please avoid that and i could see you know from your expressions you know you started why you repeated because you know you were thinking of the answer and while you were thinking 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 something came and then you started saying about telling about it then you realize ki i am no longer able to continue beyond that and then you stopped somewhere and then said this is all coming to my mind now instead of taking the path straight away immediately first you decide the google map route <laughs> up to what location you are going right and then yes, start sir. that is second point uh, the third point is on the women reservation thing again you you i could see your expression you moved forward straight away yes reservation is good then your mind said no no the way i think you have taken the wrong step you wrong and then gradually you you took a, a u turn and came back to awareness and other things and avoided giving any final verdict from your side so it was seen as an indecisive answer confusing at the end of it had i been the person asking question i would have asked you but divya i am i am confused what exactly are you saying on one hand you are saying yes reservation picking up which kind of women have to be picked up for reservation on the other hand you are saying sir but first awareness and all should be done so you change the stand probably your conscience was saying that you have taken a wrong wrong direction and reservation of women in services is not a good idea am i right sir probably yes because i realized that reservation in the pris versus reservation in the civil services are two different things and just because uh, it is there and it is working does not really mean it will translate to the same extent and benefits in the civil services okay. as well so they were coming to the merit of this answer question that what is the correct or good answer i would say correct or incorrect it's all of you but a good answer would be that you follow the stand that you have mentioned just now and don't get into the trap of saying that yes sir reservation should be done you will be embarrassed because there will be volley of questions you know for which you will have no answer yes but if you if you take the stand that no sir i think they are two different things that the, the objective there was participation democratization you know uh, here bureaucratic is on merit right so yes, even in the constitution if you read or you must have read divya there is a class of persons who can always you cannot reserve anyone anything you know it will be struck by the law by the constitution or by the supreme court in judicial review that where is the class of person who is specialized you are taking the entire women community in one go and you yes. further said that we will subdivide them into segments poor and not so poor literate and not so literate now imagine a not literate women for the purpose of inclusion you are taking her into civil services that means she will be just eighth pass and getting into the ias just think about it yes, so sir. take a stand against reservation and give reasons okay sir okay so that is all from my side
and uh, i've already told you we have given 66% to you so if you have any questions divya please ask uh sir i think uh, the only one question that i would ask i think you explained it also well really well with this example of reservation the problem that i face sir is i think that there is a perfect answer for the questions that are being asked and i am somehow not able to uh, reach up to that answer and that affects my confidence a little bit in the final interview or in any interview for that matter i think that my answers are not up to the mark this feeling that i have uh, is somehow there is not able to go even if i study a lot some because i will not be able to cover the entire range of topics that could be asked So, so even if i study certain topics sir there will be other topics for which i'll be a little under confident so how to deal with those yes. questions in the interview so sir i would divide your entire interview questions into two right okay, one sir. is those questions which are related to math yes sir and you can being an intelligent person you can very well identify and list them out if the questions you are asked are just about say 10 questions from your daf and if you prepare about 40 questions four times or five times you will be so well prepared at least with the 50% of your answers you can structure them very well you can prepare the answer read them even cram them in case you know one question that would be most likely asked from you is what more you are you seeing in ias which you think you will gain or you will have in ias which is not in the ips what value addition are you are you doing to yourself by getting into ias which means those exclusive unique usps of ias or ifs if you have given foreign service also because you are looking only for these two services now Yes, sir. Sir, I'm looking only for Indian administrative services. Now, okay. Sir. So all the more, then you have to be prepared with this answer. Why are you looking for IAS and not wanting to remain in IPS? The question may be different, but the answer is the same. So you must frame a very structured answer, point-wise, which is which is mutually exclusive to the IPS, right? Yes, sir. you can't say that sir i want to serve the public so police also serve the public so pick up the unique points of ias vis a vis ips right so i'm not referring to the content at the moment so that is one number two is you are from muzaffarpur today if you take the sample interview today you are asked a question of muzaffarpur right you are able to answer only something which you must have find found at home ki do bags mein ikatte karte hain to aapko wo yaad raha aapne usko reform bata diya jo aapne theek kiya intelligently aapne kiya but you have not read muzaffarpur as a smart city so if you make notes of muzaffarpur smart city problems of muzaffarpur the events at muzaffarpur you know how developed muzaffarpur is you would be able to answer any question related to muzaffarpur right the the yes, places sir. around muzaffarpur the history of muzaffarpur it is just a matter of 20 10 20, 20 minutes you can read google and make jot down points and you are through yes sir. then comes your jp morgan or for that matter investment banking then you comes your bihar bihar how many questions can you frame from bihar you see you may be knowledgeable about bihar many many more times many fold but the panel is only listening to what comes in the media and the press you know they are yes, reading sir. about prohibition they are reading about poverty they are reading about migrant labor they are reading about uh, uh, you know agriculture why industry has not come they are reading about floods and how many questions can you make from bihar maximum a dozen questions frame your yes, answer sir. right yes. then investment you have worked there and then your ips so all matters supreme court keeps mentioning is a police raj high court mentioned something you know something critical about police police reforms you have prakash singh committee and how you know everything that's all now if you prepare and prepare answers of all these your 60% of your questions are covered 
Now, rest is economics, international relations, women-related questions. At least one question will be asked from you, women-related, right? Women yes, empowerment. Sir. So, COVID and, and STEM. Sorry? COVID and STEM. That is uh, uh, science, technology, engineering, and... Correct. And computer science. Sorry. I forgot your... No, STEM. STEM is that... Women's uh, ah, that's right. Representation in STEM. STEM. So anything yes, you, you could be asked anything about women in India, how women have progressed, women literacy, so much, and yes. some social sector like health and education. Right now, if you yes. prepare some 40, 50, 60 questions, prepare the answers. The way I can bet then you will be much more structured, much more informed than what you have felt and keep feeling every time that your content is not good. I can very well imagine your psychology that, you know, when I say something because you don't, you don't have content, that is why you feel it. So you develop content and not by reading alone because it will not stay in your mind. You cannot structure immediately. You cannot retrieve from your mind there and there itself. And so you will hover around the point. Read it with your right answers with your own hands. And read them again and again. Just say, you remember, you will be a And you will yes, be a changed person. I can bet. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, one, uh, just one sentence I would like to add. Chairman has guided you in so much detail and depth. You won't get this kind of guidance elsewhere. And always remember that you are the selected one. You are one of those who has uh, made it. Okay? So yes, sir. Don't ever let any confusion that your answers are in any way less bother you. Always tell your mind that when others can do it, you shall do it. Okay? Yes, so develop yes. your confidence simply by telling that you are no less than anybody else. And that keep on repeating it in your mind, subconscious mind, that you can do it because so many have already done. You have also done it. Okay? Yes, sir. Don't let this, there is no perfect candidate. Everybody tries. Yes, sir. Thank and, you, sir. And Divya, just last point from my side. On JP Morgan, you said that, sir, I was not dealing with that subject. Never say that. My question was very general. I didn't ask you, were you doing in the equity research or were you there, were you there and what were you doing there? I asked how investment bankers reports affect the markets, <clears throat> yes, how reliable they are. It's a general question. This can be put to any, any person, you know, who is related to some company which is either banking or some company which writes reports. If somebody is in HDFC, somebody is in ICICI, you, know, you can ask this question from them also. So don't say, Ki, sir, I was not on that desk. We are not asking you any secret things. Yeah. Yes, sir. So all the best to you. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. All the best, Divya. Thank you all so the much. Best, sir. All, all the best. best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.